and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you can tell from the title, we are going to do another Get Ready With Me To Work Cabin Crew Edition Part 2 because ayun nga, meron na akong isa. From my previous video, if napanood nyo na yun, I put the link below. Ang iksi pa ng hair ko doon. So feeling ko matagal na yung video na yun. Siguro mga last year, late last year or early this year. Siguro mga January or December. Um, I'm not really sure about the date. Hindi ko rin kasi chinek bago ko gumawa ng video na to. But, ayun. I'm doing this again because a lot of you guys requested me to do another one. Although yung mga ginamit ko dun sa video na yun, ginagamit ko pa rin naman sila hanggang ngayon. But of course, uh, may mga nagbago. Medyo madami-daming nagbago. Ang mangyayari, hindi ko alam kung ano yung look na gagawin ko sa sarili ko, sa totoo lang. Kasi usually naman talaga, before I go to work, wala ako nung parang uh, plano na like before I go to work na, ay, gusto ko yung ganitong makeup and all. Minsan na lang, dinadepende ko sa lipstick na gagamitin ko. Parang kuunahin ko na yung lipstick na, ay, gusto kong gamitin tong lipstick na to or lip shade na to. And then from there, dun na lang ako mag-ano, mag dun na lang ako, uh, dun ko na lang ibabaga yung eye makeup ko. So, ngayon, um, hindi ko alam kung ano mangyayari, pero, and as you can tell, pareho pa rin ng ating robe, no? Ito lang talaga yung, ito lang yung robe ko, actually, nilalaban ko lang siya from time to time, eh, hindi naman siya nababaho, hindi naman siya bumabaho, or hindi naman siya, ano, talaga sinusuot ko lang to kapag mag-makeup ako, so, I think I need to buy new ones, para naman iba yung makita niya sa video ko. <laughs> So without further ado, let's get into the video. Ayan, medyo nag-zoom in ako ng onte and then binabaan ko yung exposure natin para ano, para kitang-kita niya yung kulay, totoong kulay and all. So yeah, first, uh, I'm going to start off with a primer. Of course, primer is very important dahil yan talaga ang isa sa mga nakakapagpatagal ng inyong makeup. And I'm going to use this um, Too Faced Hangover Primer. This is my super duper favorite um, primer because it's moisturizing and also favorite ko to kapag gumagamit ako ng mga matte type of uh, foundation. And because yung uh, foundation na gagamitin ko is very matte and it stays all day, literally all day, kung hindi ko siya buburahin feeling ko the next day, nandun pa rin siya. So, ayun, I'm going to use this primer and what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna pump a bit. Although, nag-moisturizer na ako. I already applied moisturizer but of course, since yun nga, matte yung gagamitin natin, gusto ko super moisturized, super duper to the next level. Moisturized ang aking face. So, next, moving on to the foundation, I'm going to use this you guys, you don't know how much I love this foundation. Since na-try ko siya, ito lang yung ginagamit ko talaga. As in, pwera na lang yung naubusan ako kasi medyo may kamahalan siya. And this is the, oh diba, hindi ko pa. Ngayon ko pala sabihin ko ano siya. Sobrang favorite ko talaga siya. As in, it's this Estee Lauder Double Wear um, Staying Place Makeup. I super duper love this. Oh my gosh. Super dami ko nang nabentahan itong foundation ito. Not, not like, ako yung mismong nagbenta sa kanila ha. Like, when people ask me, whenever I wear this foundation, people will ask me, what what foundation are you using? Blah, blah, blah. And I really like it. It has a flawless finish. And pagkasabihin ko na ako ano yung foundation ko, ang dami ko nang sinasabi. As in, parang, I don't have the sales talk um, skills, pero I, I've already recommended this foundation to millions of people here in my, ano, in our company. So, ano, pagka binili nila yon, they will tell me, really, it, Jaja, it's really nice. I really love it. It stays the whole day. They don't need to retouch. Guys, seriously. Hindi niya kailangan mag-retouch. As in, kung gusto niyo ng super duper full coverage, eto. Eto ang kailangan niya sa inyong buhay. Kita niyo naman, guys. Kita niyo, kanina ang dami-dami kong sumpa. I actually did a video using this foundation. Uh, I'll link it below so that you can see. Kitang-kita niyo naman yung difference, diba? Super full coverage and I super love this kasi hindi ko na kailangan mag-effort maglagay ng, what do you call that? Maglagay ng concealer sa aking under eyes kasi natakpan na siya. So after that, I'm going to um, highlight the center of my face using this Instant Age Rewind from Maybelline. And it's in the shade Light. So I'll just apply that here under my eye. I 
I'm going to blend it with a damp sponge. I'm going to contour my face using a cream contour. Again, I've used this for my previous video already and this is the LA Girl Pro Conceal um, High Definition Concealer and it's in the shade Almond. And I super love this because yun nga, um, perfect shade for me for my contour. to use again a damp sponge just the sponge that I used so there you go I've already contoured my face and it's not yet done I look very crazy right now but I swear to you this is going to be beautiful anyway so after all the creams I'm going to use a powder so now we are going to use this Laura Mercier translucent powder to bake our face and this one kaya ko lang siya gagamitin kasi it's been a while since the last time I used this because I always use the Coty Airspun and um, the Nichido ones that I have but I want to try this because I haven't tried this one with my Estee Lauder yet So I don't usually bake my face on a normal day because that's too much but I bake um, whenever I'm going to work so that I know that this makeup will just stay there like the whole time that I needed it to be there so yeah anyway so let's just leave it like that and then I'm going to do my brows and I'm going to use this NYX micro brow pencil in the shade brunette I really love this um, pencil because Aside from it's very easy to use, it's it's cheaper than the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Browies. Then after I outline my brows, I'm going to use this um, Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Kit to fill in the brows. So, pakisabi nga sa akin kung hindi ko siya favorite, please. <laughs> Super duper favorite ko to as in. Hindi naman halata, di ba? Nahitpan ko na siya. And I've been using this brow powder or this brow kit since college. So I super love it. So ayan, I just did my uh, other brow uh, off camera. But now I'm going to use this Kill Brow All Day Tattoo Brow Cara in the shade Natural Brown to tame my brows. Just to make sure that it's not going anywhere. Okay, so next I'm going to remove my um, powder. Just going to get that off my face. By the way, I'm using the Miniso um, powder brush right here. It's super nice. So I love it because it's super soft. <laughs> So now I'm going to bronze up my face using this Catrice Sun Glow Mirror Bronzing Powder and it's in the shade Golden Light. I super love this. And then for my blush, I don't know if you noticed from my previous makeup videos, I always do my face, face, face first before my eye makeup. I, actually don't know why I do that but there's no particular reason why I do that but that's just my routine that's my personal routine so yeah so for my blush I don't know what to use I'll I'm looking at Colourpop I don't know what what is this called I mean it has the peach peach shade or is that peach peach sa mata ko and this one is the sleek makeup blush and it's in the shade um, Life's a Peach so I'm not so sure so maybe I'll yeah I'll just use the color pop all right so we are done with the face I guess so later na yung highlighter but we're going to move on with the eyes if you want your eye makeup to last long you have to use a primer but this one this step is 
really optional. It's it's up to you whether you like to use eye primer or you prefer what do you call that? You prefer uh concealer for your eye makeup or for your eye primer. It actually doesn't matter. So you do you. But for me, I'm going to use this uh, Zoeva Eyeshadow Fix Matte Longwear. I don't really use this, um, what do you call this, eye primer that much because I, I'm i sticking with my NYX eyeshadow primer but since I want to try it now. And this is in the shade, or this is in matte. I think there is one that is not matte, of course. It's matte, nga to, so it's not matte, one, right? So, I'm not so sure because I bought this one eh, like, last year, I think. So, okay. So, we are now moving on to the eyeshadow. So, for the eyeshadow, I'm actually going to try this one. I just got this. This is the Tartlet Flirt Tart. Okay, let's see. Ayan. First, there is ano plastic, but... It looks like this. So pretty. You can just throw it in your makeup bag for traveling. Because it's a neutral color siya if you like neutral colors. I think this one is perfect. Little palette for you. And I like it. I bought it because I want to bring it with me during my night stops. And I don't need to bring like a huge palette with me. So yeah, let's try this. Um, I'm just going to play around with this, I guess. The smell. It smells so good. <laughs> it smells like chocolate. So I'm going to take this color right here and I'm going to apply that on my lid. And this is going to be like my base color. This is actually pretty. I, I mean, I like the shade for a base. It's super nice. It's super buttery. It's, gosh, so easy to apply. Oh my gosh, this is like the most flawless. I don't know if it's because of the primer or if it's because of the eyeshadow, but girl, I love my base. It's so smooth and it's like there's no bumps at all. I think this is the primer. I think it's it's the primer's job. I don't know, but I'm liking it so far. So next, I'm going to take this shade right here. In person, it looks like brownish. It's like orange with a brown tone, but more on the brown side. But in the camera, it looks orange. But one thing though that I don't like about this palette is that there's a lot of fallouts when you dip your, I know, your eyeshadow brush. So, hmm. So I'm applying this on my crease area. Super nice. I like it, especially in person. Ang ganda yung tignan. Parang ang hindi siya mahirap iblend. Like super duper easy. But of course, we still have to blend it. It will have like a smooth. Um, finish like gradient smooth effect so we have to blend that okay, I'm going with the lid first but I'm not going to use like a glittery or shimmery type of eyeshadow but I'm going with the matte or the, the darker shade which is this one this one is too dark I, I think I'm scared but I'm going to use this one on my lid so let's see how it works. So brown pigmented niya skin. Isang garan ko palang asin covered na yung skin ko. Like amazing, amazing balls. It's amazing. Although I think it's just the same shade. Parang halos pareho lang siya pag tinitingnan ko. Like wala siyang I don't know, but. I think it looks the same to me. So maybe I'll add a little bit of this one. Actually, I'm so scared talaga kasi whew, this might be super dark and I know that it's pigmented but let's see. Whew, 
so I'm done with my lid now I am going to blend this with the brush that I used earlier for the crease like the crease shade but I didn't like apply more product on it so just going to blend that and remove the harsh lines okay I'm going with this shade right here I'm going to add some fix plus and apply that on the center So I'm gonna need to remove all the fallouts like so for the eyeliner though I'm going to apply it off cam this is the hyper sharp power black by Maybelline I super love this um, eyeliner so I'm going to use this and I'll be back so it's just the usual eyeliner so now I'm going back to my eyeshadow palette I'm not yet done but we're getting there so I'm going to use this shade right here for my lower lash line. So for my mascara, I'm using this Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara from Marc Jacobs. I super love this mascara if I want a full-on black or dark mascara. So for my highlighter, usually I use Fix Plus first and then that will be my last step. My Fix Plus and then my favorite highlighter which is the Tardis Pro Glow uh, to go um, palette and the shade Glim. But today I'm going to use a new one or not a new one but I've, I've used this before but I want to give it another try because I was so disappointed at first. So I want to give it another try. So I'm going to use the Maybelline New York um, and Gigi Hadid um, collaboration. It's the liquid strobe in the shade Cool. So first, I'm going to apply it here just to make sure that I'm not going to mess my makeup. <gasps> oh my goodness. I think that's well blended. Ooh, that's, that's really blinding. I don't think I need... Um, what do you call that? Falsies? Because I think my lashes are okay. Like this, I mean, just not to make it too much. I think I'll apply more of the mascara just so it will look fuller. So now I'm down to the last step and I'm not really sure what lipstick should I use. I have a lot here. Okay, so I think I found the right shade. And I'm going for my favorite ever, my first favorite nude or peachy kind of lipstick is this Tartist um, lip paint in the shade Delish. I think it's dry and I super love this because it a quick dry lipstick. I don't need to wait for a long time para uminom ako ng tubig or anything. And I like that it has a smooth finish na kahit may dry parts ka sa lips mo. Diba minsan may parang mga natatanggal na what do you call that? Natatanggal na balat sa lips mo. Hindi siya nag-show off. Like, like me, ayan na. Super dry pa ng lips ko ng lagay na yan. Pero... Look. Nababoring na ako sa itsura niya ngayon. So I'm going to apply another shade on top of it. Or maybe in the middle. I'll try this Push Up. Favorite ko rin to from NYX naman siya. The NYX Lingerie. So just in the center. So there you go. I don't know if you can notice the difference, but I do and I like it better like this.
So now that we are done with the face, I'm just going to fix my hair, put on my uniform, and then I'll be back. So I'm back and most of the time I just straighten my hair like this. I curl sometimes but that's when I don't have fringe yet. And yun nga, since I have fringe, ayan, lagi siyang naka side swept or minsan kini clip ko siya like the whole the whole fringe naka clip siyang ganyan para hindi siya nakaka distract sa akin kapag nagwo-work ako kasi minsan pag nagtatrabaho alam niyo mahilig kasi ako pag nasa bahay lang so nasasanay ako na ginaganoon-ganoon ko yung bangs ko medyo distracting siya so ayun i just make sure na naka side swept siya yung curling naman i usually do that if i still have a lot of time i usually do my makeup first then my hair so yeah that's it for this video thank you guys for watching and and if you like this video, give this video a big thumbs up. And if you want to be a part of my growing YouTube fam, don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Click that notification bell to be notified once I upload a new video. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!